answer to a request to look at the book feature on the Elegant Edges cartridge. So this book feature, if you look on the Elegant cartridge, Edges cartridge on each page, because it's a feature key, there is so this there's book. lots and lots of different ones. And I'm actually going to be using my Gypsy to do this. That isn't necessary, it's just that I like designing on my Gypsy, but you can easily use your Cricut Straight Direct to do this. I am going to be flipping the image um, in order that I can get the reverse side of my sheet because I'm creating a page back to back so in order to get the reverse side I'm flipping the image. If you're using this directly on your Cricut all you need to do is put your paper upside down so pattern side down and then you will get the same effect as if you had flipped the image. Okay so it's very simple you can easily as I say do this on your Cricut Direct. Okay so the image that I'm using is the image on page 65 which is this lovely scallop edged here. I thought this would make a really nice front cover. Now what you get is you get the book feature plus you get the sh uh, blackout. I was going to say shadow but it's not. It's actually blackout. What this means is where you've got this very lacy kind of effect or even here and some of them even more so. What you can do is you can cut out the blackout feature as well and then you can place one on top of the other so that you're not having kind of flappy bits of paper or anything. If you're going to do this onto say chipboard then clearly you could easily leave those as they are and just put your paper on top and have it sort of holy sit and it would look just fabulous. Okay so we're going to go straight to my gypsy. So looking at my gypsy you will see here I've got my main image which if I just go to the book is this one here so this will be your book feature key pressed down but no shift button it's just the image key on its own so it's the feature key and then press the image key that at 5.5 .5. and then all your other layers need to be the same size in order to blend in then I've done the shift key on here so book feature key shift and then your image button which is this one here and that's on page 65 just in case I had said it wrong before and that gives you your blackout feature that I'm going to layer on top of there so that that gives a nice solid no holy bits I don't want any holes on mine I've then taken the same shift image and I have flipped it. As I said before, all you need to do is put your piece, if you're doing this without the gypsy, just put the piece of paper on your mat, but with the patterned side down or coloured side down, and then you will get the same effect. If you're working on the gypsy, in order to flip your image, you need to go to the advanced tab, and these are your keys here. In my front page, that's the front front of the cover, and that's the inside front of the cover. Then, And that will also work the same for my back page as well. I then have this page here which is all the shifted images and as you can see I've got two the correct way and two the, sh the flipped way and this will therefore work as the front side of one page stuck to the back side of the other page so that it ends up with my two pages sticking together like that so the patterns will work correctly. So that's what I've done here so I've got enough here for two pages and then I will cut that as many times I, as I require for the number of pages that I want inside. Okay, so we're going to connect this to my Gypsy, uh, to my Cricut, and we're going to start to say I'm going to be using this lovely paper from Basic Grey, and that's the Kyoshi, and it's got some gorgeous, gorgeous patterns and colours in it. So we're going to mix it up a bit and see what we get. You can see some beautiful, beautiful colours and images and I've got some of the other bits that go with it like brads and things because what I will do is I will make this into a little book. I'll use things like fabulous finds, tags, bags, boxes and more, all different things. Another really good one for booklets I think is storybook. You get some really good cuts on there. So I'll be using all different things for that um, and I'll be putting that together. But just for the purposes of this video I will be just making the basic all right. Book. So let's get cutting. Okay, I've loaded my mat with three papers as um, per the setup on my gypsy. So I've worked that out exactly what I want where. And I've put the gypsy ready to load mats. So let's load that in. 
Okay, so now let's press cut. Okay, so then unload the mat. Okay, so here's our background piece. Here's our other piece. Very pretty. Okay, so I've loaded the next four and I'm going to now pop those in my press cut. And off it goes. So this is going to now be my inner pages. So I'm going to do a few cuts of these different pages. I'm going to do probably six pages inside. So we'll cut those out and I'll come back to you when that's all done. Okay, so I've cut out all my pages now. So if I just flip through and show you what I've got. So effectively these three are going to be stuck together because that's my inside piece that's going to show through my holes and then that's the back of that so those three are going to provide my front cover which is nice and sturdy and then we've got our pages on the inside so just sort them i kind of think about it as you're cutting them because you obviously need to cut certain ones flip side so just work it out as you go along so that you make sure that you get them cut the right way around I mean something like this actually this particular image when I've tried it it's perfect mirror so I actually didn't need to flip it but just in case it's always worth doing so we've got I think I've got about six sheets in all and then my last one again with this one I flipped it the whole three just to be sure that it actually came together okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick all these sheets together to make my pages and then I'll come back to you and we'll start putting the book bounding bind the book together okay so here's our book all put together so I've just used some spray adhesive from crafters companion and also my scotch quick dry so I combined the two which just made sure that we got a good bond we can stay which is the permanent adhesive spray so I used the repositional raw ones so in order to make sure that my pages didn't come apart I just used a small amount of the other adhesive as well just to make sure they were held together so as you can see the two with this basic grey the two sheets stuck together makes a nice weight of paper type card for the little book so the next thing we're going to do is use my cinch and put some holes in my booklet okay so here's my cinch and I absolutely love this I don't do a lot of mini albums and things but I do make things like notebooks etc such as this one that I made a quick show so I put that one together for myself and so I do things like that and it's just got blank paper in which I use for kind of just notes for card ideas etc so I do things like that but and uh, other things but I do do some mini albums so but I just love the cinch it's so easy to use okay so I did a quick test cut just to see where I wanted my holes because my little um, booklet is five and a half inches wide so it gives you a guideline on here for what peg number to pull out because what you do is you pull out all the pegs that are pressed in which let me just turn this we've got pegs here so all the pegs that are pressed in are the pegs that will punch holes any that are pulled out like these two at the end it doesn't punch the holes so what it does down here so everything you need is on on the cinch and what it does is it gives you a guide so if you're project is say six inches if you pull out peg 12 and you line it up your project with the sidebar here then you're going to get it completely evenly spaced but you do still have flexibility by pulling this and fiddling around so this, but this is just a, a starter guide however because my project's five and a half it doesn't quite fall into either of these so I just did a test cut to see where I wanted it to go but actually what I want to do is pull out peg one so that one doesn't punch and pull out peg 10 11 and 12 so I'm just punching from 2 through to 9 okay now you can do a few pages in one go which is really cool as well so it means that you can get your project 
cut nice and evenly. I think we're going to get all of these in in one. No, we're not. When you look at the side, you could see that it hadn't quite, it was moving them. So let's do a few. I think it's probably me more than it, to be honest. Okay, so we've done about half, I think. So now we're going to punch this down. And it's a really nice, easy movement. And there's our holes in the middle here. So we've got, let's just see if I can find a plainer page so you can see them. There we go. So you can see them punched out so we've got them nice and central and I didn't what I wanted was a little gap at each side and then if you don't move this and you put them in exactly where you just lined them up then it's in theory going to punch in exactly the same place as it just did okay so make sure it's pushed right to the back and that's why I just bob down my head down to check that it is right at the back and then just give it a good punch down and there we go all the way through so there's our book with the holes punched so the next thing I want to do if I was not decorating my book would be to put the wire on but I think because I want to decorate the pages what I'm going to do is leave them open at this point and what I'll do is I'll start decorating the pages and I'll come back to you and show you each page and we'll try and decorate this together but I shall upload this straight away because I know that somebody made this request to me I'm so sorry I don't remember your name at the moment that I'm doing this video I'm so sorry um, so I know they're waiting to see this so I'll upload this part of the video now and then we'll carry on with the pages and we'll probably do a few videos making this together okay so here's my finished book all the holes all punched and the page is all done so now the only thing obviously left is to decorate it and to bind it now I'm intending on using this lovely pink wire from um, the bind it all I think it is or bind it up or something um, which I got and I just thought that well it's kind of a lilac -y pink so it's a really really pretty colour so I'm going to be using that but obviously I'm not going to be putting that together until I've decorated the pages now I'm not going to be necessarily doing the pages in any particular hurry I will keep you posted on it as I do them so the purpose of the video really was just to answer the question about the book feature on the Elegant Edges cartridge Okay, so I hope this has answered the question that was asked of me, and as I say, I'll keep you posted as I decorate the pages. I'm going to try and keep it in the theme with the Kiyoshi, because I've got some embellishments, etc. So I'm going to try and keep it in that theme, and I'm going to try and use some Cricut cartridges to do that. So I will keep you posted as I do it. hope that's helped, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!